Hello and welcome everyone to this new course of advanced WordPress plugin development. And in this video, we are going to talk about the plugin basics. So many of you might already be using a WordPress plugin. So what do you think a WordPress plugin is? Well, in simple terms, as the name says, plug in, which means plug in your functionality into WordPress. That's the simplest way to understand. If you want any more functionalities to be added than what WordPress already offers, you just plug in your code. Okay. So basically plugin is packages of code that extend the core functionality of WordPress. Now WordPress offers the bare minimum, the bare basics, which most people will use. And then depending on your need, what your client wants or what your project wants, you can extend those functionalities but by adding your own. So that's why WordPress doesn't want to bloat its core by adding additional functionalities which not everyone might want to use. So the plugin contains the PHP code and it can include even other assets such as images, CSS and JavaScript. In fact, many of the plugins are also built to just add maybe a few Gutenberg blocks that can be used along with your own theme. So essentially by making your own plugin, you're extending WordPress that is building additional functionalities on top of what WordPress already offers. For example, using WordPress custom post types, you could write a plugin that creates full featured support for ticketing system that has email notifications, custom ticket status, and a client facing portal. You must have seen that there are a lot of plugins available that give you an entire booking system like event management, right? So the possibilities are endless. Now let me ask you a quick question. Do you know which was the WordPress first plugin? Yes, you guessed it right. That was Hello Dolly. So what did this plugin do? Well, it'll be interesting for you to know that this plugin only had 100 lines of code. All right. This means that a plugin doesn't have to be a complex with so many functionality. It could be probably doing just one thing with a simple few lines of code, just a couple of functions. Okay. So it really depends what you're trying to achieve with your plugin. You know, if your plugin offers many features, that is fine. However, if your plugin offers just one feature, that is also okay. So this plugin actually showed the lyrics from the famous songs in WordPress admin. So now we understand what a plugin is. We understood that what are the examples of the plugin, the functionalities that you can use, but why make one? What's even need of making the plugin? Well, there's one cardinal rule and that says, do not touch WordPress core. Okay. Now, why do you think you shouldn't touch WordPress core? Well, the main reason is that if there's any update that comes into WordPress, and if you go ahead and edit your WordPress core files, then you're going to lose those changes, right? So that is why it is essential that you do not edit the core WordPress file to add your functionalities. And as we discussed that WordPress overrides the core files with each update. So any functionalities you want to add or modify should be done using plugins. So, so now that we have established that plugins actually allow you to greatly extend the functionalities of WordPress without touching WordPress code itself, you can maintain your own version of plugin and even plugins have version system like WordPress does. So you can maintain your own plugin version. So if they are making any changes, you can release those changes with different versions. You can create tags. So we will talk about all of that in, in this video series, and we'll also learn how to upload your own WordPress plugin on the WordPress org. So in the next video, we are going to learn about how to create our first WordPress plugin from scratch. Okay. So I hope you did like the video. If you did, please give a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. If you aren't already do follow me on GitHub. My GitHub handle is Imran H. Sayed and do follow me on Twitter as well. My Twitter handle is Cody Tech. I'm going to see you in the next video. Thank you very much. Bye-bye. Thank you.